Hi, in this video, we will see how to check a number is a prime number or it is not a prime number. We will use Visual Studio Code and Python programming all together to build this program. So at first, let's see what is prime number. We will tell a number is prime number if it is greater than 1 and factors are 1 and itself. So when a number matches these two conditions, then we will call that number is a prime number. And some examples of prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and so on. Okay, so let's build the program. To build this program, at first we will create a function and from the main program we will call the function or method to check whether the number is prime or not. So for example, the method name is like is prime. Okay, so in Python to mention any function we use the keyword def and then the function name and after that we have to use a colon. Okay, so this is the function and the function name is is prime. Okay, now we have to check whether the number is prime or not. So the number we want to pass as an argument. So here we will put a number like n, n for number for example. Okay, I am typing in short. So after that, what we have to do? The user or from the main program, we can get different types of number. But we want to check whether that is positive or negative first. Okay, so if it is negative, then definitely we don't need to check because all prime numbers are greater than one. Okay, so if any number is coming like negative, okay, then we can ignore or fraction something like that. Okay, so what we can do? We can make sure that the number is positive integer. So we can use uh, something like that number n uh, equal to, then we can use uh, integer. Then inside the integer, we can put the number n. Okay, and then let's make it absolute number. Okay, so we can use the function fbs. Uh, this is the built-in function, and then inside it we can put the integer n. Now this number should be a absolute positive integer number. Okay, so now let's check whether that number is zero or one. Okay, so if it is zero or one, then it should not be a prime number. So we can type the conditional statement something like if number number means n less than 2. If the condition matches, that means the number is less than 2, that means 0 or 1, then uh, this is not a prime number. Okay, so we can type something like that, return false, that means it's not a prime number. Okay, then we check 0 and 1. Now, this condition matched. Okay, I mean this condition code we completed. Now, we have to complete this part. Okay, so here we can check one thing that 2 is always a prime number, right? We mentioned that 0 and 1, those are not prime number and 2 is always prime number. And if you check number 1, 2, 3 in this way, all even number except 2 are not prime number. Okay, so we can separate that number 2 will be the prime number. We can separate this logic. Okay, so to separate this logic, we can mention if number n equal equal to then that is a prime number so we can tell right return true that means it's a prime number okay now for other even number like four six eight in this way all any other number we can tell that those numbers are not prime so we can type the condition conditional statement something like that if not then number n and one Okay, that means that is all those numbers are even number. So those are not prime number. So we have to type return false. Okay, now come to the odd number. Okay, so odd number it is just from 3, like 3, 5, 7, 9 in this way. Okay, so the ranges is just with 3 and only needs to go up the square root of n. Okay, for any odd number. 
So let's build that logic now. So if this is for odd number, okay. Basically, we can actually, we don't need if, we can actually use the for loop, for, then x, then we can use the range operator because it starts from three, right? So we can use in, then a range operator, and inside the range operator, we can mention that it starts from three, and then integer, then here we can put uh, n, that is number, then start, start and dot, 0.5 that means 0 0.5 you can put like this way 0 0.5 or only 0.5 same okay and then after that what you have to do plus one and then we can div we can put another thing comma two so it matches the condition okay so this will complete the odd part okay this block basically okay then we have to complete this thing uh, by typing the expression if then number modulus then x if is equivalent to zero then that is not prime okay so we have to return false otherwise the number is prime number okay so we can type return uh this return is from here return true okay so return true that means the number is prime so this is our desired method so it's complete okay so what we did at first we checked whether the number is less than two that means zero and one then it should not be a prime number completed then if the number is two then it is a prime number okay and if the number is even except two okay and number one then it is not a prime number okay and for all odd number is the condition okay the range starts from 3 and only needs to go up the square root of the number right so this is the number is square root of that number for all odd numbers and then we are checking it is returning the false if the modulus is equivalent to 0 okay otherwise it should be a prime number okay so now let's uh, call this thing from the main program we can call like print for example the number is like uh, 100 okay so here we have to call this prime number okay i mean this method so i'm typing is prime and inside the in is prime we have to pass some number suppose the number i told 100 i want to check whether 100 is a prime or not now let's run the program so to run the program we can right click and then choose run python file in terminal and once we click that uh we'll see it is showing false that means it's not a prime number okay so let's do one thing let's make uh this statement a more meaningful so let's delete it and write some a little bit more code okay so that user can easily understand whether that number is prime or not so we can actually put like this type of string prime okay if i'm doing some shortcut basically is prime this method it will check and then after that else e l s c else then not a prime not a prime number prime number for example just i can uh, put this meaningful uh, text so that it will be easily uh, understood to anybody okay so there is one more e we need to type or something like that okay so we know that 100 is not a prime number okay so let's run this and let's see whatever output we'll get right click and run and it is showing that not a prime number that means 100 is not a prime number okay so let's check whether 2 is prime or not so i'm going to right click and then choose this thing and it is showing it's a prime number let's delete it the console okay now type 0 we know that 0 is not a prime number because uh, these are the examples of prime number and i also mentioned that the condition of prime number I is in between these two basically you have to follow uh, this thing and this thing for any prime number okay so right click uh, run python file in terminal and we are seeing not a prime number that means we try to check whether zero is prime number or not so is, this is definitely not a prime number then one let's check it and after checking we are seeing not a prime number okay so here we are seeing like 13 let's check 13 whether it is prime or not we know that 13 is a prime number because 
uh, it is greater than one and factors are one and itself right okay right click and then run python file in terminal and we are seeing that it's a prime number right 13 this is a prime number okay so that's all guys in this way you can easily check whether a number is prime or not hopefully this video will be helpful and if you feel this video is useful then please consider subscribing to our channel thank you for watching